Hey everyone, welcome to my new tutorial, or oh, actually it's going to be a series of four tutorials related to newly added feature called variables. So this is the feature that's been added from 1960 in MagicQ. And it, first of all, it will be really useful for those people who does the special effects. So if you're using the CO2s or if you're using flames and you would like to have approximate uh, visual representation in the magic queue of how much liquid left of maybe like the, the CO2 is about to finish or maybe you're doing an event and the same tank of CO2 is used for let's say two three artists then you can actually control say one artist can use only 20 seconds another artist can use only 10 seconds and so on and so forth so uh, why for why four tutorials? I'm going to explain to you. So instead of making one long tutorial that's going to be like a 20 minutes long or whatever, I decided to divide it on four parts. So the first part, I'm going to show you how you can create an uh, an item on an execute window that's going to be linked to your playback. And when you launch the playback, for example, you can see. As soon as I press on it, the flash button, you will see the, let's say, the virtual tank is going to deep, start getting de depleted. And then I put as 10 seconds my maximum time. Again, this is going to vary. It's just for my example, it's simple. So then you're going to press again and it's going to continue. And this is, let's say, the representation of the CO2 that we're going to use, all flame machines or whatever. So every time you press the button, it goes down. And then as soon as you let the button go, it actually stops or you run as a fade. It doesn't matter. As soon as the playback is active, it's going to do that. So this is uh, what my first tutorial is going to be about. The second tutorial, I'm going to show you how when the queue, when the, when the uh, time runs out, I will show you in the next tutorial how to disable a queue stack or the playback that's related to that so after that if you press go 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 after nothing is going to happen so basically the the queue stack is going to be fully disabled so because in this case i'm running now you'll see as soon as it gets to the end it will continue still visually showing that it's working but in reality uh, the queue stack is not being disabled so for that, you'll need to make sure the campus is out of the uh, of the demo uh, mode into the full unlocked mode. So, and then the third one, I'm going to show you how to do um, how to use the reset button. And the last one, I'm going to also the uh, last one, I'm going to show you how to make the variables to be uh, to work across the different groups and the different uh, uh, effects or something. So that means you will be able to actually use the uh, different variations of the playbacks to run the same fixtures and you will be able to track across multiple playbacks uh, for uh, all the fixtures that you're using, all the flames or CO2s you're using. Okay, without further ado, let me quickly show you how you can create a queue stack that will be showing the indicating for you how many seconds left in your playback for this what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete that area and i'm going to delete that playback right okay so how to create a playback that's going to have a, a timer let's say a maximum time uh, that you want to put into that playback and then how you can indicate it on the execute window. So first of all, let's create a playback. So let's say I'm gonna select my dimmers. I have a group of 10 dimmers. I can press locate, it's only one channel, and I'm gonna record it as one playback, okay? So after that, what I'm gonna do is, I will go and triple click my queue stack. So triple click my playback. As soon as you get into that view, so it's a view options, you go to the activate release and in the activate release you have the four new functions so first of all it's going to be active time uh, uh, activate count so that means every time i launch the playback or activate the playback the counter will increase by one just take a look one two three and so on and so forth 
the next one that's going to be also affected by every time you you actually run it it's going to be the stuff called total activated time in seconds and this indicator is here so look every time i press the button it increases so two parameters which is activate time account and a total activated time will be increasing so the longer i hold it the longer the total activate time and so on and so forth but then you also have variables variable one variable two so in my case what i can do is so first of all you have to reset the total activate time to zero you press zero and you press enter so now it's zero Total uh, activate count, we, we're, we're not interested at this moment. So then what you need to do is in a variable two, you have to set the maximum amount of time you would like, let's say, your CO2 to run, playback with the CO2 to run. Let's say 10 seconds. So you type one, zero, enter. So now you have 10 seconds maximum uh, time you want the countdown start from. So it's going to start from 10 seconds, then 9 seconds, 8 seconds, etc., etc. So then we go to the execute window. So in the execute window, I would suggest you, for example, if I say it's at grid size uh, at this moment, zero by zero, so it's empty. You can go and press set grid size and I'll press two, I want horizontal, one, two, slash one. So then I press enter. So as soon as I do that, what it will create it will create two slots for me so then i will select my left slot and i'll click assign special then i'm gonna press you go here and into the option which is called playback plus q stack click on this and the option that you, what i'm looking at it's called q stack variable two minus total active time okay you click on this then it's going to tell you which Q stack number you want to link it with. And then you see here, it says Q stack number seven. If you're not sure which Q stack, you can always go and double click and you'll see the number. So I'll put number seven and press enter. Again, if you are not sure which Q stack you're talking about, if you double click the Q stack, you will see here it says Q stack seven. Okay. So now, it shows me already 10 seconds because what's happened there this time has been taken from the release from the variable two so now one uh two things that you have left to do if i don't change anything then i'm gonna only see the number i'm not gonna see the level indicator so if you want to change it you click on item type and you choose level indicator you click on this now you don't see the level until you go to the view execute so now you can see the level it shows you the percentage and it shows you how many seconds you have that so now when you press go you will be able to see that what i wanted to show you is working so you can try this thing and then if you continue watching my next tutorials, I'm going to show you, as promised, more functions that you will be able to use, like disabling QStack uh, with automation or applying the variables and then applying the even more extended vari variables to track pair fixture. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for joining and stay tuned and watch my next tutorial. Thank you.